Hi guys, and welcome back to my channel, or if you're new here, then welcome. My name is Heather, and on this channel, we like to walk a very fine line between a shopping addicted makeup monster and a responsible adult with a makeup hobby. Now, I really enjoy eyeshadow singles, dual chromes, multi-chromes, blush, highlight, clearly. <laughs> Basically, everything except pressed glitter, and today, we're going to be doing a highlighter collection and declutter video, so if that sounds like something you're interested in, stick with me. We're getting into it right now. So this is my entire highlighter collection. I typically divide my highlighters up by um, liquid, pow like loose powder, and colorful highlighters in one drawer, and then all of my kind of like neutral um, pressed powder highlighters in another drawer. So that's kind of how I keep my stuff organized. But we're just going to go over, th go through everything, and decide what to keep and what to get rid of. Highlighters are my weakness, so I will probably not declutter very much. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's get started. So right off the bat, I know I'm not going to get rid of these two. These are the Nabla highlighters. So you have this one, which I believe is ozone. Yep, it's kind of more champagne. And then this one, which is privilege, which is like a champagne. But then it also has kind of a peachy reflect to it, which I really like. And I love the formula of these. The packaging is super cute. So these will definitely stay two more that will definitely stay. These are the Aether Beauty Highlighters, which I actually got on clearance. I could not believe my luck. These are the Supernova Crushed Diamond Highlighters, and you have Pure Diamond Dust and Pink Diamond Dust. So Pure Diamond Dust looks like this, and it's like super reflective. It's almost like a super shock. Oh, so pretty. And then the Pink Diamond Dust, which I don't even think they make these anymore, which is such a shame because this was like their hero product. Um, but this one is kind of that like peachy kind of gold orange reflect very very pretty I'll definitely be hanging on to those um next let's talk about this one this is from Lunar Beauty this is Mini Amway's brand and this is the Mercury highlighter looks like this and it's one of those um like soft gold dual chrome type shades right there very pretty I don't know if I'm gonna swatch everything probably I shouldn't husband's on hold with like the loudest on hold music I ever heard in my whole life. <laughs> Alright, here's one I think I can probably get rid of. This is the Laura Geller um, Baked Highlighter in Gilded Honey. This one is very, very pretty, but I just think it's a little dark for me. And I have another similar highlighter that I think I'm going to end up keeping. So this one, um, since it is so like almost brand new, we'll pass that along. Alright, next up, this is the Tribe Highlighter by Juvia's Place Volume 3. This one's also really pretty. I guess we're going to be swatching for a while, I don't know. Um, that's what this one looks like. Nice champagne, it's got good light reflection. It's a really nice formula, kind of like a Super Shock formula, so we'll hang on to that. I have this Wet n Wild. This is the Precious Petals Highlighter, and this one is actually unopened. Somewhere around I have an opened one, um, so I have two of these. I'm going to probably declutter that one, and I'll hang on to this one since it's newer, um, and get rid of the older one. Then I have this ABH Highlighter. This is one of the first like expensive highlighters I ever picked up. My goodness, that's smooth. It's more of like a soft sheen compared to some of these other highlighters, but I do think it looks really pretty on the skin, so I'll definitely be keeping that one. The other soft sheen that I have is the Essence Pure Nude Highlighter, so if you're looking for something similar but you want a more budget-friendly option, I would give this one a try. It's definitely like very soft and just kicks up a little bit of light, but it doesn't have any like sparkle or metallic or anything that's going to be really distracting on your face. Oh, sorry for all those clicks. Let's go through my Becca stuff next because I don't think I'm be getting rid of any of my Becca highlights. This is Lilac Geode, which is sort of a lilac-y purple shade to a pink kind of duochrome, which looks like that. And you can see it shift there. Really pretty. Becca highlighters are just some of my favorite highlighters hands down. This is Parisian Nights. This was one of my very favorite highlighters from Becca, and it's that pink to gold duochrome. Very similar to the other one, um, but definitely leans more pink, whereas this one pulls a little bit more lilac. Then we have, what is this one? Rose Quartz. Ooh. Oh, and this was pressed into like a holiday, this was one of their holiday collections. It looks like that, very like rosy and soft. 
Then I have these two. These are from, they had like a duochrome uh, light chaser collection. This is the Pearl Flashes Gold and Champagne P Flashes Bellini. So that's Champagne Flashes Bellini. And then this one, the Pearl Flashes Gold, very similar to the Mercury um, highlighter from Lunar Beauty, although this highlight dual chrome flip is a little bit more pronounced, but I'll definitely be keeping that as well. And then I have two of these little baby ones. One is opal. This one is vanilla quartz. This one's really pretty too. It's like almost a white. And then this one should be moonstone? No, opal, sorry. And it's one of the ones that I have the biggest divot in because I used to take it all the time with me when I went traveling. This one's definitely a little bit deep for me, but we'll hang on to it because you can't get Becca anymore. So if I regret it, I have no way of replacing it. And next up, let's, I guess let's talk about these e.l.f. ones. So these are the original like e.l.f. baked highlighters that they came out with. Um, I have Moonlight Pearls. This is blush gems and then this one is apricot glow and these are the ones that you have to scrape off the top layer in order to get them to like really show up nicely but they do end up then showing up pretty nicely so this is that moonlit pearls blush gems let's get this last one here what did you call this one apricot glow and so I use these two more like blush topper type highlights, especially this one. And then that one is definitely more just a traditional highlight for me. I think I'm going to let Apricot Glow go, oh my gosh, and keep the other two. All right, this Tarte one came in a set for holiday last year. And it's definitely that like peachy to gold duochrome type highlighter. It looks like that. Very, very pretty. It's one of my favorite duochrome type uh, appearances to make up, so I'm going to definitely hang on to that. I have this one from Milani, which is supposed to be a dupe for the Pixie Glow Duo that everybody really likes, but I could just never find that one in store, so I picked this one up instead. And that's what the two colors look like together. I think this is such a pretty combination, and of course if you mix them, you just get this beautiful kind of pinky glow definitely keeping that one. I have this MAC one I just picked up uh, actually at TJ Maxx. It's from holiday I think 2018 or 2019, 2020, who knows. Um, but it still holds up. It was only like seven dollars <laughs> and it came with a brush. Um, but this still holds up. It still looks pretty good. It smells decent. So I just um, am going to continue using that one. And it's the Double Gleam. That was the like iconic MAC shade for fair skin tone highlights. I have this Milani highlighter, which looks like this, and it actually kind of reminds me of some of these other shades here. I think I'm going to go ahead and pass this one on because I've had it for so long. I used to take it traveling with me, but now I have other picks that I would rather take traveling, so I don't think I need to hold on to it for that purpose. Oh, Milk. Yes. Milk Makeup. This is the Flexitarian highlighter, and it is pretty. So it looks like that. And it gives you such a nice like reflection there. Definitely has a little bit of cast on my skin tone, but if you sheer it out nicely, it looks really good. This is, oh, this one from Catrice, definitely not going anywhere. This is the More Than a Glow highlighter and the shade is 02. The texture on this one, the shine on this one is like stupid pretty. So I'll definitely be hanging on to that. Like, look at that. So pretty, definitely keeping. All right, this is a classic. This is the Anastasia Beverly Hills and Amrezy highlighter. And although this one is definitely a little dark for me, I do still really like it. I usually use it with kind of a light hand, um, but because it looks so pretty, I'm definitely gonna be hanging on to it. This was another gift from my husband, so it has some sentimental value as well. All right, this enormous soul body highlighter <laughs> is like, Pretty, but very sparkly. 
So I don't know that I would necessarily use that as a highlighter, but I do think it's super pretty and like for some special occasions might be kind of cool to use. So I'm going to hang on to that one, even though it's enormous. I wish it was the smaller size that they have now um, rather than this huge thing. The first time I got one of these ColourPop highlighters, um, the big one actually, when I got this in the mail, it was shattered the first time they sent it to me. So this dust that was like pink and gold just exploded everywhere in my kitchen. It was just such a treat to clean up. This is the Candy Floss Super Shock Highlighter, which looks like this. And this is such a pretty like sparkly pink highlighter with this like silver and pink pinpoints in it. I think it looks so pretty, so wet, so I'm definitely hanging on to that one. As far as my other ColourPop Super Shocks, let's go through those next. I've got Lunch Money, Flexitarian, Seismic, and what is this one? Guilty Pleasure. So Lunch Money is like the more settled down version of um, Flexitarian. So if you want something like Flexitarian but not quite as in your face, consider Lunch Money. It's got like a nice kind of pale champagne gold reflect to it. And I'll be keeping all these for sure. This one is Flexitarian. It has, oh gosh, these are so soft. It's definitely a little bit brighter, definitely shines more. So if you want something more settled down, definitely get lunch money. If you want something more in your face, Flexitarian is the way to go. And then Seismic is kind of like Flexitarian, but with like silver glitters in it. So it looks like that, and it just has this really pretty, like, glittery type finish to it. I really like that one a lot, too. Definitely not for the, uh, the timid. <laughs> and then this one is Guilty Pleasure. This almost looks like more like a blush than it does like a highlighter, but it's that kind of pink to gold kind of thing. I think I can go ahead and declutter this one because I have so many others that are that pink to gold that I'm keeping, so we'll let this one go as well. All right, let's do some of these and then we'll get into liquids, uh, loose and like super colorful things. This is the Fenty Hustler Baby one and this is another one of those kind of like pink to gold duochrome, so hence why I can leave so many of the other ones behind. I'll definitely hang on to that. This is the only Fenty highlighter I have. I would definitely like to get some more. This is the Fashions, um, what is this? The Mawu highlighter from unique beauty when they did their little like fashion icon series and it looks like that sheared out I do think it would work for my skin tone so I'm gonna hang on to it for that reason plus it looks so cute it's like a little magazine I have this Jaclyn highlighter from when they went on sale this is the iced highlighter um, and it is a really really nice texture definitely has a lot of light reflection to it so we'll hang on to that one for sure I'm not sure that her prices, like, I don't think her prices are really consistent with, like, the quality of the products they're getting. They're decent quality, but the prices are just too inflated. So I would wait until you see her stuff, like, half price and then go for it. All right, this Kiko Milano highlighter, this is from, like, a Paradise collection that they had. Oh, and it smells just like all of the um, Physicians Formula, like, butter bronzer kind of things. It smells like that. It's a really pretty gold. We'll definitely hang on to that one. Love the smell on that one too. Whew. And then I have a couple of different highlighters from Ofra. I have the Start Inspired highlighter from Samantha March. This was her first collab that she did where she had two wedges of Star Island and then two wedges of, I forget what the other shade is that she picked out. And they mixed it together and made this kind of like pinky shade. Looks very, very pretty. So I'll definitely hang on to that one. Then I have the Dream Chaser highlight, which is the second highlight that she came out with. It definitely is more of like a pink, iced out champagne kind of shade. It looks just slightly different from the other shade. I think it gets a little bit more light, um, but I'll definitely hang on to that one too. I really like Samantha Marge a lot, so I purchased her Ofra collabs before Ofra like, needed to take a break. <laughs> And then this one is the Milk and Cookies highlighter, and this is why I'm getting rid of the um, Laura Geller baked highlighter because I have this one, and this side definitely gives me that same um, kind of shade. So you can t see the two shades right there, and then when you mix them together, 
get just a really nice kind of like bright gold shade. Very, very pretty. And then this one smells like cookies. It has this really pretty like vanilla smell to it. So definitely going to hang on to that. So as far as liquid highlights, I have a handful here and then I have one stick highlight we'll talk about in a second. I have this Wander Beauty Catch the Light um, highlighter, which I do really enjoy. It has also a cream highlight on the bottom that's a little more tame and then a really bright um, like liquid highlight here. This is where I'll probably start to regret swatching everything. But that's kind of what it looks like. Bright kind of gold shade. Um, I think I may actually declutter some of these and just keep one out of this because I rarely use liquid highlighters. So we'll let this one go. And then I have four of these like little liquid vial type highlighters. Um, so let's see. This is gold, luminous luna, which is like a silvery white, and then ethereal, which is like a lilac-y purple, and that's what those three look like. I think I can definitely get rid of the gold. And I think I'll get rid of the white, but I might keep the purple because that's kind of unusual for my collection. But I don't really need like liquid standard shade highlighters. And then this one I'm going to go ahead and get rid of too. This came from a BoxyCharm um, and clearly it's just not my shade. So we'll go ahead and pass that along to someone else. This one though, I really, really like. This is the Rare Beauty highlighter. And this is in the shade Enlighten. Will it catch that? No, of course not. So this is the shade Enlighten, but it looks like that. Super, super pretty. Lots of light reflection there. And then I'll hang on to this one too, which is the ColourPop Star Bright Highlighter. And it looks like that. But those two are gonna be kind of like my cream and liquid highlights. For standard sheets. Let's hmm. Alright, let's go with these next. Oh, I have this one too. This is the Blossom Glow highlighter. This one has kind of like a pink shift to it. So I think that's why it's in the colorful area. But it's like a sort of a sheer base with like a pink shift. Definitely will hang on to that. I have two from the Odin's Eye Norns collection. This is Veil of Destiny, which is this like pink with like gold and white in it. It looks like that. Super bright and glowy. And then I have this one, which was Veil of Future. The only one I don't have is the uh, blue one, which is fine because I don't think I would use that very often. And it looks like that. Definitely has kind of this like sheer, kind of golden orange shade. I'll be hanging on to this one because I love the packaging. Um, I don't use this one very often, but I do like it enough to hang on to it. I have this one from Unearthly Cosmetics that just came out with their um, February Valentine's Day launch. And it looks like that. Just a beautiful kind of pink to lilac type duochrome pink to gold to lilac. So if you were looking for something similar to that Becca Lilac Geode shade, this might be a good alternative from Unearthly Cosmetics. And this is the bow and arrow highlight. Next I have a couple more Ofra shades. This is the Cloud9 Nikki Tutorials collab, the Mother Earth highlighter, which is their green to purple, and the retrograde highlighter. So let me just swatch these out quick. So there's the Cloud 9, which you can see has a nice like soft pink shift to it. This is the Retrograde Highlighter, which gives you a little bit of like purple lilac. And then this is Mother Earth. 
note, which gives you like a pink to green shift. I don't know if I'm going to be able to catch or capture that on camera. Oh, yeah. Well, there's the green. When I look at it at an angle, I can see the pink. Anyway, that's the Mother Earth highlighter. So we'll keep all three of those. I'm definitely not getting rid of any of these Odin's Eye highlighters. I literally just got all of them. But we'll go ahead and swatch them for you. This is Lavender Dream right there. And then this is Rose Sky. We have Azura Shine. She looks like that. Then I have Warm Sunshine, which is the most neutral out of all of them. Which looks like that. And then the last one is Moon Talk. This is the one that I didn't get in my order originally because they forgot to include it. So I had to wait for it to be shipped separately. But it looks like that. So there's one, two, three, four, five. Keeping. All right, this is the Nomad Around the World highlighter and it's this really pretty like blue purple. I like that it's a little bit softer and that it doesn't have any shimmer in it. So if you want something that's gonna be in that realm without being like super sparkly, then I have this one to fall back on. I have this, which was a Makeup Revolution dupe, allegedly not for the Manny MUA collection, but like we all know what you're trying to do there. And it looks like that. I think this one I can go ahead and pass along because I don't really need it compared to some of the other stuff that I have. All right, my poor hand is covered in sparkles, but it is what it is. Let's talk about these next. This is the conch highlighter from Glam Light. This I got in a mystery box. And it has this kind of like pinky purple shift to it. I think I can go ahead and let this one go too because I have some other highlights that are similar so I don't need to keep that one. And then this is the Copacetic Cosmetics. This is the Froggy Friend um, highlighter. And it had like this cool frog embossing in it but it's this really cool like golden-y almost coppery highlight you can see there. Oof. I love using that one so definitely going to hang on to that. Almost put that in the discard pile. And then I have these three from Kaleidos. These are from their original like launch. This is the Moon Cruiser one. Which looks like that. I have Solar Sailor. Which looks like that. Has that like white to gold duochrome. And then Comet Catcher is more of that like classic pink. which looks like that. And I guess I'll keep these three for now, but as I start using my Odin's Eye more, if I discover I'm really not using these, I may pass these along at some point. All right. And I have one Jelly Much highlighter. Such a like cool consistency. That looks like that, and it's like super blinding. I got that as a gift from my aunt, and it's such an amazing highlighter. I'm definitely hanging on to that. This is the shade Bubbly, in case you were wondering. And then here are my loose highlights. So I have this one from Jaclyn Cosmetics, which is just like a nice champagne. It's got lots of like beautiful reflect in it, so I'll definitely be hanging on to that one. I have this one from um, Makeup Maniacs and it's this really cool like lilac to green duochrome. Like there you see like the green kind of gold to it but then like out of the light it has more of like a lilac appearance. It's really pretty. Um, I'm not even sure if I would label it as a highlighter honestly. Like it might be more of like an eyeshadow than anything else but it is super pretty um, so I'm going to hang on to that one. I have this Love, Love Luxe Beauty um, highlighter that I picked up, and I haven't even 
like used this one yet. Woo. But that's what that one looks like. It's got such a pretty reflection to it. So we'll definitely hang on to that one. And I've got this Juvia's Place highlighter. This is an enormous highlighter, but it's a little, like I think it's a little dark for me. Let me see here. Yeah, it's just a little bit dark for me. And I don't think I need to hang on to this one because I have the Milk and Cookies um, Ofra highlighter. So I'll go ahead and declutter this one. And then the last one, this is the Artist Couture Illuminati highlighter. If I remember correctly, this one's like super sparkly too. Yeah. Oof. Yeah, we'll definitely hang on to that one too. And so that is everything for the highlighter declutter video. I want to thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe before you go. And I'm going to catch you in my next video. Bye.